Stop Motion Project. Stop Motion has been viewed as a very difficult art form because of the complex network of cameras needed to pull it off. The Raspberry Pi and Pi camera can create an easy to use stop motion experience that is perfect for beginners. Setting up your own stop motion stage and coding the Pi in Python can make you the director of your very own short film. Materials. Raspberry Pi, Model 3B+, micro USB power supply, HDMI cord, HDMI monitor, 8 gig micro SD card, Pi camera, thread cord, jumper wires, button. Key concepts. Pi camera, stop motion, try and accept function. Project. Stop motion project. Running the code from the Thalny file every time you want to take a picture is not very useful. By adding a button, you can take pictures when you want without starting the code over and over again. We're going to do that by wiring up the button on the breadboard like you did in the past. Once that is done, add the following code to a new Thalny tab. Make sure you wire the button to GPIO or change the number to the GPIO you did attach to the button. This code is set up to allow for one button press to take one photo. Adding a wait time. If you want a brief moment before the camera takes the picture, add sleep five after the button dot wait underscore four underscore press open and close parenthesis. This adds a five second pause before it takes the photo. Stop motion. One of the cool things you can do with the Raspberry Pi and the Pi camera is add the ability to create a simple stop motion system. We need to create a folder for the pictures to live. So go to the terminal and type mkdir space stop motion. You will be keeping all the photos you take in this folder. We need to tweak the code you just created by adding the following code. We use a forever loop so we can push the button over and over again to get a new image. To exit the forever loop, we added try and accept. This will allow you to hold Control and C to end the loop and stop the program. Frame percentage 03 is used to name each photo taken. It will add 001, 002, 003, 004, etc. to the name of each picture taken. This way, they are all saved as individual files in the stop motion folder we created. You should now set up the items you're going to use for your stop motion video. Remember to move each piece ever so slightly and take an image. For just five seconds of video, you can use over 100 photos. Once you have all your photos, we need to turn that into animation. Open up the terminal and type in the following. We are telling the Pi to convert the image we took into a video. The number 10 is how many frames per second. You can change that number based on the number of pictures you've taken. To play the video, type the following into the terminal. Challenge. Create a stop motion video on how to wire the different components you have explored in previous units. 